hey, welcome back, everyone. My View on the View, uh, the podcast. I am your host, MVO TV. Thank you all so much for joining me for a brand new episode. Check the description box if you happen to be new and you have questions about who I am and you just want to know more about the broadcast itself, okay? Well, guys, let's dive into this because we got a lot to cover. I'm going to read a little something to you. We also have a really good clip I want us to listen to and I just have a few things that I just want to chat about in general, okay, about our show, okay? So let's start here. If you've been online the last several weeks, you probably, in, in terms of looking at things for our show, that's what I mean by being online the last couple of weeks, you probably have seen the stories about, is the view going to be canceled? Has the view been canceled? We know it has not been canceled. I'm just telling you the stories were out there, right? And you, no doubt, if you were online about the view, you saw those stories, okay? Well, all those stories were coming from a specific angle, but the most realistic angle they did not come from. And I don't really know why, because it's pretty obvious to me that some major changes are coming down the pipe and our show will be affected. Canceled? Maybe not. But if ABC, the ABC network gets sold, which is what Bob Iger, the president, excuse me, the CEO of Walt Disney is considering doing, that will affect our show in some way, shape or form. We're going to explore all of that on today's broadcast. Okay. So I feel like those who were discussing this, I don't know if they were aware of some of the interviews Bob Iger has given recently. Uh, we're going to listen to a portion of the interview he gave last month to CNBC or on the earnings call with the investors. All of this stuff is available for public consumption. OK, and so I don't know why they didn't really uh, talk about that, because this is serious. OK, now, having said that, let's say this. We all know that when our show left off for season 26, right, they had really good raising, ratings to, to the point where our show, ABC's The View, is still the number one daytime talk show in homes in America, okay? So they're not hurting in terms of advertisement, in terms of people still loving the show. Sure, some people have left, but there are more that stayed and they have added some new, uh, you know, new people in the younger uh, demographic to the, to the show viewership, okay? So, but that's just right now. And in, 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 the, in the area of finance and media and all of that, Things can change overnight. Things can change on a dime, okay? Because Just because something is doing great today doesn't mean it's going to be growing great tomorrow, okay? And so we need to all keep that in mind, all right? And it seems that Bob Iger has made it pretty clear what he's going to do. But when people try to nail him down on it, he kind of does what we expect for these people to do until a decision is made. They just say, you know, I can't talk about it or I'm not going to speculate. I'll let you speculate, blah, blah, blah. OK, so the first thing I want us to do is listen to a clip. OK, this is a portion of his interview. You can find the full interview online with uh, David Faber of CNBC. I want you to really listen because David asked him about the ABC network. OK, this whole interview was about. How are you, you know, why is it that, you know, you thought originally when you came out of retirement 11 months ago, right? Why you said it was going to take you just two years to get this company back to where it needed to be. And in essence, Bob Iger tells him, listen, some problems were very easy, easy for us to solve me and the board, but some problems I I underestimated and it's taking us much longer to rectify certain situations, which include our TV linear assets. OK, now, you know um, that Walt Disney has many, many assets. OK, for instance, remember um, they have they acquired um, all of Fox Entertainment's assets. They opened two Star Wars theme parks and uh, here here in California. For those of you who live in California, in California, uh, they also released the second highest grossing movie, uh, Avengers Endgame. So they have a lot of great assets that have brought in a lot of good money. OK, but when you try to balance it all out, they have lost more than they've gained, which, to be honest, I don't understand because they made 71 billion dollars in the acquisition for Fox Entertainment assets in 2019. And yet we see now started last year, they had to let go of 70,000 plus people in various portions of their assets. Remember, ABC News had to cut 50 folks. 
it's like, okay, I don't understand all that, like, but I don't know nothing about no billions of dollars either. So the whole point is, is that in this interview, he says, when the guy asked him about ABC Network and of course, a lot of other um, TV linear assets they have like ESPN and all that, he says, quote, they may not be core to Disney anymore. And so the guy just says straight up, well, are you going to sell them? And this is when he starts shimmying and doing the dance that we expect for these people to do. So let's take a listen. I'll be right back. Let me ask you about it. Um, we're talking, I guess, ABC, the network, the, the stations, but then the cable networks as well. Yes, correct. FX, uh, Nat Geo. Is it possible you would look to sell them? We're going to be expensive. I think if you can, you can interpret what that word means. You know, we're just getting at that work, but we have to be open-minded and objective about the future of those businesses. Yes. Meaning that they're not core to Disney? That they may not be core to Disney, yeah. Now, there's clearly creativity and content that they create that is core to Disney, but the distribution model, the business model that forms the underpinning of that business and that has delivered great profits over the years is definitely broken. And we have to we and, and we have to call it like it is, and that's part of the transformative work we're doing. Right. Well, we've but, been having this conversation for a very long time. Well, I now, think what I'm in saying terms is of it's the erosion time. of the linear business, yeah. and now it's kind of closer to obsolescence. Well, I, you know, as I said when I came back, one of the things I discovered was that the disruptive forces that have been preying on that business for a while are greater than I thought, and so it, you, it's it's eye opening. You know, it's, there's a. Um, there's a reality to it that we have to come to grips with, and we have to come to grips with that now. Uh, on, on, by, by the way, um, another business that is really has benefited from that business model is ESPN, but that we're looking at very differently. Oh, but I want to get to ESPN, obviously, but I just to understand. So you don't know what you're going to do when it comes to these linear, the linear businesses, but you are, would be open to ideas that would perhaps separate them or change the structure in some way as well I'll let, I'll, I'll let you speculate I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any speculating now except to say that we're very objective about their future as part of our asset base well that is pretty clear now let me now talk about this let's say that Bob and the the board of Walt Disney decide okay ABC Network and all of its all that it encompasses needs to go that's a part of our our linear TV assets they're just not doing what they used to do. Uh, the business model is broken. Let's get rid of that. That would mean either, of course, somebody else would get it. You know, there would be this big sale. Let's just say they decide to sell ABC Network, which would include all of the ABC News, which would include all the shows and da 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 da, da Kelly and Mark or whatever, Tamron, all the ABC produced shows, the scripted television as well. Well, then somebody would have to purchase those, purchase the network or purchase those shows or those shows would change homes, what have you. Or let's say if they were to do that and the show changed homes, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe somehow or another CBS decides to buy. I don't know. However, it will work or would work. Would they keep the show as it is? Would they keep the host as they are? Would they keep the show, period? So it is a real conversation that needs to be had for those of us who love the show, how much longer that the show is going to be on the air. Again, great ratings today. He didn't say nothing about no ratings. And you heard him say right there, and I'm quoting, we need to come to grips with it now. <laughs> so that's not, so this decision that they're in the process of making is not 10 years off. It's not five years off. It's not a year off. It's now we need to make it. He said, we need to call it the way it is and, and come to groups with it now. So, um, I don't really know in, in real honesty here, how much longer our show, the way we know it, let me clap, um, I was gonna say codify, <laughs> let me <laughs> clarify that our show in its current form, um, and when I say current form, I mean the way it is, the subjects that they cover, um, all that good stuff. I don't know how much longer it's going to be the way it is. Now, a lot of you, like me, who read Ramin Satuta's book, which I have, I had. What did I do with it? Did somebody? No. Oh, here it is. I have right here, Ladies Who Punch, because uh, I was reading over something. Um, we, we learned in that book that prior to our show being under the banner of ABC News, it was under the banner of ABC's, uh, excuse me, Walt Disney Entertainment, okay? And remember, that's when they used to do a lot of the fun segments. We see the ladies do crazy things. Um, they didn't talk a lot about politics. They talked mostly about, 
you know, just women's issues, marriage, family, you know, trying to be a boss chick. Well, that phrase was not in use at that time, but in essence, that's what it was. And then when they transitioned uh, to the executive change and then they went under the banner of ABC News, they became more, um, you know, they talked more about politics and more about um, things more of a serious, you know, affecting the world kind of nature, um, not just uh, women in, in, in particular. And so we saw things change. So, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, um, all the stories that are out there about the show being canceled, I really think the question now needs to be asked, what is the future of our show? Not necessarily cancellation, but what's the future if ABC is sold and it is a real possibility? And we heard him himself. Um, if you want to read more about this, of course, I, sus I highly recommend you um, listen to Bob Iger himself, you know, um, his C CN CNBC, excuse me, interview, like I said, is widely available online. But also if you want to read um, some of the finance articles in Yahoo Finance or the Wall Street Journal, their finance section, they talk all about this. Matter of fact, uh, one story I was reading here that I have pulled up, they were just saying, you know, um, Walt Disney is just too big of a company. That is their problem. That's why, you know, they're trying, they just tried to do too much is what, you know, remember they got, as I was saying to you earlier, they got the Fox entertainment assets. Um, and then they got Disney plus, and then they bought C ESPN and ESPN plus or ESPN two, whatever it is. And so they just tried to do too much. And unfortunately, um, that caused a lot of revenue, a uh, loss. Remember we learned last year, when Bob Iger got, came out of retirement because they had to get rid of Bob Chapik, who was allegedly cooking the books, remember? Remember, we learned um, in that investigation that Bob Chapik, okay, had told the investors, oh, well, Disney Plus has made millions and millions of dollars and come to find out it had lost over $8 million, okay? But of course, he didn't want to run um, investors away or scare people by telling them the truth. And of course they had to investigate um, his behavior. And I'm not sure if he ever got jail time or what happened with that, or if there was some sort of um, mediation uh, with him, his attorneys and uh, Walt Disney's attorneys for what he allegedly did over there. But in essence, when they got rid of him, they brought Bob Iger back out of retirement. We covered all that story. So what do you guys think about this? Now, I know some of you won't care because the show is not that important to you. But for folks like me who don't watch a lot of television, I have zero streaming services. I'm not interested in getting any streaming services. I don't see foresee that uh, any time in the future uh, either. I, I, when I do watch television, I, I want it to be good. Okay. Um, because I don't have time to just veg, you know? Um, and so the view is a must watch for me because it's where I learn about what's happening, um, with a lot of movies or a lot of books that are out by various authors, because, you know, we all have our certain people we follow and we'll read anything that they write and all of that. But I get to learn about new people that way because I'm not on you know online all day and I'm not watching all this different stuff and and listening to a million different people give commentary on C CNN or MS you know all that stuff and so for me it's a one-stop shop I don't get my news there but it's a one-stop shop for everything else and for me if this show were to change hands because ABC was sold uh God only knows what would happen you know I'd have to I don't know you know I really don't know um, it has had a great run, 26 years. Um, I'm, I'm sure that's much more than Barbara, Barbara Walters and, and uh, Bill Getty ever expected. Um, but, you know, things are changing financially. And a lot of these companies are doing what they need to do to short revenue, even if that means selling off assets that they ha have had for a very, very long time. So that's the story. That's what I wanted to share in terms of the angle I feel like is missing, which is the more realistic and, and, and really serious angle, right? Why aren't more people talking about Bob Iger saying it's a possibility that ABC, the whole ABC network and all it encompasses could be sold and be no longer a part of Walt Disney? He said, and I'm quoting again, they may not be core to Disney anymore. So that that's a big statement to be made by the CEO. So guys, thanks so much for joining me for today's broadcast. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode and to subscribe to our YouTube community. I'll talk to you on the next podcast. Bye everyone.